So I literally just started cooking again and already I have a lot of complaints. And those complaints are that I don't show my face or I don't talk. I thought you guys came here to learn how to do stuff. Like, really? All right, well, if y'all want me to talk, it's going to be a whole lot of gossiping going on. So, um, today, before we start with the gossip, no, you're not going to see my face yet, okay? It's hard. If y'all really want to see my face, how about y'all pay for a camera person? Because I got to hold the camera and do this mess at the same time, okay? And today, I'm not using my professional voice at all, so. Um, all right, here. Ugh, I'm putting on my gloves. Just like certain people, certain group of people, I don't like to touch chicken either. So, okay. All right. I'm actually going to make two different meals with this. Because since today is Sunday, we're going to do meal prep. And I'm, you know what I'm going to do to y'all today? I'm going to make y'all go through the whole process with me. The whole process. So today I'm making Haitian chicken. En sauce. This is not fowl chicken. You know, fowl chicken is, you know. Basically, for those who are not familiar with fowl chicken, it's the harder one. I think the, the, the like the cock. <laughs> oh God. Anyway, yeah. So anyway, this is not fowl chicken. This is live chicken. You know, like the live chicken when you go and then they kill it and pluck it and yeah. Although I didn't witness the murder, I wouldn't be able to eat it. But yeah. I didn't witness the murder, so, but this is the type of chicken it is. That's the point I'm trying to make to y'all. Anywho, so, yeah. So, I wanted to, let me see. I know what I'm looking for. I, yes, I do have a knife, people. Um, oh, jeez. I'm, I'm evaluating, you see, all of this fat. Okay, because I want to take out the fat. This is actually for the ones that are cleaned already. Oh, whatever. Let me see what I'm working with. Okay, I'll switch it back to... Okay, we got some cutting to do. We got some fat to remove. So, okay. So, let me get to it. So, okay. So, this is good. I need all that fat in there. This is good. I'm going to make some curry chicken with some of this meat. <laughs> it's called Sunday meal prep. That's what I do. Okay. This is a lot of fat. Ew. See, all of this gotta come out. Some people like the butt. That's the chicken butt. I know. Some people like it. I don't judge. See, when the skin is intact like that, I usually don't take it off. But when it's like 
like this. Ugh. I gotta go. You gotta go. You got to go. Cause it's like layers under layers. So how are you guys doing in this crazy world? The other day I was reading a an article where a Bronx assistant district attorney was caught trying to meet up with a young boy, with a little boy. He was chased by a group of vigilantes and that may sound shocking to you guys, but this is happening a lot. I don't know, guys. You guys really have to protect your kids. You guys really have to protect your kids because these kids are ha having some adult conversations and activities online that later on can only put you in hot water. With, you know, just pay attention to these kids. Don't be one of those weird parents talk about, oh, they got they deserve their own privacy. Privacy where when it's time when God forbid something happened to those kids, you're gonna be you're gonna wish those privacies weren't so private. You live under my roof? <laughs> All right. But yeah, that's one of the things and I if there's one thing I, I don't get and I really hate are pedophiles. Like, come on now. There are grown women out there who's more than willing. And able, but you choose kids. It's a sick, isn't it's it's an illness. You know we're, we're clear on that part. But anywho, that was just a DA, an assistant district attorney. Can't even call the cops. He is the cop. <laughs> Jeez, unbelievable. So. And he's back to school. So he, I wrote an article on that as well. So you guys can check out that article about going back to school. How today kids are going to school in pajamas. What's going on, people? Parents. A lot of parents don't know this, but based on how their kids come to school, that's how the teachers and the, and the administrative part of the school is going to teach them. I mean, treat them. How you present yourself is how you will be received. So parents should always know that. And also, too, stop embarrassing your kids. Because some of these parents... <laughs> anyway. So. Alright. I know we're doing good so far. Yeah, the reason I'm making y'all go through this process with me is because... I've been told that, um, oh, well, like, videos are too short. Like, right before people could get into them, they were over. Again, I thought y'all yeah, just wanted to learn the basics. But guess what, though? You can actually go to opamusic.com. All of the recipes are there. You'll even find additional recipes that are not even on the YouTube page, okay? So... Hmm. This is weird. Let me cover this looks. Ugh. I wonder if I return the fat, would they give me my money back? <laughs> Shoot, I feel like I paid for a whole lot of fat. Like, I think what the heck? Oh. I know fat isn't, you know. It's Hot, you know, going hot now. Everybody want to buy fat. That's a whole nother conversation. Anywho, okay, I think we're good on this side. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
Okay, okay. I think we're almost done. Okay, my least favorite part about cleaning chicken is this part. But some people like it, so I have no choice. Is the chicken feet. Ugh, jeez. But my method is, trust me, the bomb. Because a lot of people struggle with a knife to give this <laughs> pedicure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Try not to cut my own fingers through the, um, through the gloves. You also see, luckily, this doesn't have, usually has a whole bunch of things here that ugh, you have to take off too. Let me see. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Wait. Okay. Two more feet. Ugh. I've actually seen restaurants prepare it with the nails. Ugh. Just the thought of it grosses me out. Oh, anyway. All right, so now we got to... Oh, boy. This one, you know, right? Sac sans viennet les bons plus fort, but. So this is all of the fat and, you know, from cleaning it. Now, we're going to wash it. Yes, wash it. Okay, so vinegar, um, lemon, lime, whatever your preference is. As long as you're washing it, okay? We wash our meats. No exception. As a matter of fact, not only do we wash it, we pour hot water over it. So just watch. Just watch. So here's the vinegar. Vinegar, 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 vinegar. Okay. Now here's your lemon. See? Spread the juice. Now, I'm going to teach you guys a little something, okay? Now, the misc, okay? Get the misc in there. See it? 
Yes. That. Let me tell you. Okay. A lot of people don't understand why, especially Haitians. I could only talk about Haitians with this. They don't understand why Haitians do this. Well, first and foremost, it's to clean the meat. Duh. But also, I don't know if you've ever tasted meat that's not properly clean. It's, I don't even know how to say it in English. I do know how to say it in English. I forgot. But anyway, the Sati Z, like it's smell, it has a certain nauseating smell to it. You understand? So you cannot just throw your chicken, like chicken, anything, like especially poultry, okay? Like, po poultry, like turkey, chicken. No, uh, you have to wash them. Sorry. And if you don't, please let me know. If I know you, let me know how you get down with your meat, cause can't eat from people like that. Sorry. Yeah, I did say I wanted me to talk, right? <laughs> Oh, this is a dry lemon. You know what? You stay back because you want it to be extra. Okay, we gotta fix this. There's uh, too much fat up here. Ugh. Sometimes, you know, the fat actually helps with the flavor, but you don't need so much of it. So I'm gonna finish cleaning the rest, and I'll be right back. <laughs> so now we're gonna show the show the show the show the show the show. Yes, 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 yes. You see? Don't play with us. Mm -mm. We Haitian out here. That's how we do it. <laughs> Seriously, show the your yon. Clean your chicken. Okay. Now we're going to throw out the water. And then we're going to rinse out our chicken. And then start the seasoning process. See you back soon. So now we're gonna start with our prepping. Um, I'm using, well, I'm using this today. I'm not using the um, the Ninja. I usually use the Ninja or Blender. So basically in my earpiece, I put garlic, scallion, Maggie cubes. Um, this is for the, the gravy later on. And of course, parsley. Okay, that's my piece. Oh, and of course, I put a little hot pepper, like half of hot pepper. Yep, yep, that's my piece. See the parsley, and once I'm done, I'm going to add some black pepper. I'm gonna grind some black pepper in there. So now, um, I am done with the empties right here. Honestly, I don't know why I had all these out here. I think I wanted to put the ingredients. Then I thought about, hey, listen, at the end of the day, I got to wash these things thoroughly. So I didn't want to, you know, get them too messy. But anyway, um, once you have your empties, you saw what I used. 
um, parsley, garlic, scallion, um, hot pepper, um, and what else? That. And then now I'm going to grind some black pepper in there. Yeah, you could just say there. While I do that, grind some black pepper in there. And um, once I'm done with that, we're going to add a little lime juice to it. And then put it over our meat. Okay. Bring it a little more. I'm covering it with my hand because right after I put the hot pepper in it, I started. <laughs> oh, of course, it jumped right into my eye. So, yeah, I got to cover it and close my eyes as well. So, just wanted to give y'all though. I usually I would put this in the ninja and call it a day, but I wanted to give you guys, you know, a little or real, you know, close as close as you know we can get to authentication food because you know the real Haitian food is from the motherland so getting ready to season our meat so now we have our it feast together and ready to go so I shall move these, they're no longer needed, and I'll cut this, okie dokie. Put this here, squeeze that, ooh, it doesn't have any seeds, so I don't need a See, now don't go putting too, a whole lemon in there, okay? Just this little piece. That's it. That's all you need. And then... So now... A lot of people don't do it, so don't judge me. This is me cooking, remember? So me, I don't like all the fay and stuff in my iffies. I just added a little water. Okay. Stir it really well. Okay. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do. Okay, this is the part. A lot of Haitians put everything in there. I mean, <laughs> especially when I'm making fish. It be too much drama. Okay, this is. Ooh, 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 I'm. Oh, jeez. Okay, so I wasn't properly looking. Okay. So yeah, this is how I do it. I know some of you guys may say, oh, it will get it tweet. Mm-mm. Fem confiance. Tout. Episalade. Okay. Okay. And then, hey, probably be feeling. I can redo this again. Okay. But you get my drift, right? So, yeah. Where to Louis Pisa? Okay, Lila. We're going to put a lot of pizza. Okay. Okay, so now, you could put, I put one sazon. It helps with the coloring. Okay, you don't need too much because we're going to put too much. So, this will suffice. And then, just for good measure, okay? Mettons le petit poivre encore. For good measure. 
Okay. Now, we're going to add a little salt. Not a big fan of salt, 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 you know? So, and onion powder. A little bit, not too much. There we go. And our gloves, because we got to get our hands in there. Okay, so now that we have all of our seasonings in there, we're going to work it in. Should use a bigger bowl, but that'll make it work. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, good Eat this. Oh, you should done done it. So now I'm getting ready to cook, okay? So here's the thing. I was so into the chicken, I completely forgot what rice to make with it. So, huh, I was like, I know what beans I want to make. So this is red beans, small red um, beans. Um, so I'm undecided. I'm, oh. It's between sauce or... The coli. So, <sighs> all right. You know what? I'm gonna boil it and figure it out along the way. <laughs> so I wash my beans. I'm about to put them in there. Yes, people, wash your beans too, cause your beans may have dirt. Like literally, they may have not only have dirt, they might have rocks. Okay. So yes, it is ideal to wash your beans. Okay, put them. Okay, now let that bad boy boil while we decide how we're gonna make prepare that, and we'll swing over to make the meat now. Okay, so now we are getting ready to make our chicken. If that ipis doesn't smell really good, you're not doing it right. Okay. Don't let it fool you, it's not that much oil. And I strongly suggest you don't put too much oil. Okay, we're gonna put it. Well, this is a tablespoon, but I may put enough. Well, I mean, this is a teaspoon, but I put enough to make it a tablespoon. Okay. I usually add a little ipis to this, because I don't like the taste of the patomat, but we do so well with the seasoning, with the meat. I think I'm good. Okay, let that fry a little bit.
You don't want to put too much patomat because believe me, it's going to taste like patomat. I use a lot of gloves for two reasons, okay? Number one, I like um, to clean my, my meat, you know. And number two, I like to keep my manicure. So... Once you do that, you cover it up for like a few minutes. When it comes to a boil, we could add a little more water. Okay, this is not even the proper cover, but we Haitian, we, we, we figure it out. We make, we basically improvise. Now you can, remember the epis, remember that one? Yeah, so I'm gonna use this as the additional water. Okay, so now, Kunea, see, see how it looks? Cover it. I'm not gonna lie guys, I look everywhere for that cover, I couldn't find it. And I'm the only one who cooks in my house, so I don't know. And everything is usually always organized, but can't find that one cover for the life of me. It is what it is. <sighs> okay, so we just gonna wait, okay? But I won't put you through that misery. Y'all gonna wish y'all didn't ask me to talk. <laughs> But I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And then the the beans, we'll figure it out along the way. So we're checking on our chicken. Okay, so far so good. Just making sure we, you know, everything is... Okay, cover again. The cover is hot. What's wrong with me? Uh, and yes, I have mittens. Uh, uh. There we go. And we shall wait some more. Still undecided on this one, but um, hmm, we'll figure it out. Okay, boiling nicely. I took a little bit out of the, wa the water out just so I can put it back as the water simmers down and eventually could pour it over, you know, whatever's left for the gravy. So, so almost there, almost there.
Mm. I think we are doing that cool thing. Come on, go back in there. That was a G Wolf. <laughs> Okay, so you off. I added the instead of adding it directly to the meat, I put it like this in the hot pepper. That way, um, it doesn't end up under your teeth. Yeah, when you see this, tell the chef thank you. You know, you're welcome. Looks like la bien pour couler là. It's almost ready to be sauce. <sighs> so guys, I finally decided what to do with the beans. You can hear from the tone of my voice what my choice <laughs> will be. I'm making the cole. I don't have sauce for time. So let me wrap this sauce up. Okay. Okay. Now let that boil a little bit. Then we're gonna add our remember our green peppers and you know that jazz okay so now it boiled a little more we're going to add our peppers I think I probably chopped too many no actually nope perfect perfect Okay, and then we go in the middle here, go like this. Okay, good. Gonna add a little thyme. Okay, we're moving this down a little bit because it's too ag aggravated. <laughs> This time is so short. Give me a second, people. Trying to make a little nut so it'll be all over the place. So we add a little time in the middle. having the heat back up cover it for a little bit oh forgot <laughs> there you go and cover it for a little bit and then it'll almost be done it's actually done but you know let all, let all the flavors you know gather themselves in harmony Okay, well, that's it for that segment. Thank you for watching. <laughs>